Good day everyone, in this tutorial video, I will be discussing to you the limit of polynomial function and the application of our theorems on limit. So we're going to apply the limit of polynomial function and the application of our previous theorems. So if p of x and q of x are polynomials, then the limit of p of x as x approaches a is equal to p of a. So we're just going to treat this as a polynomial or as a function, polynomial function. So the value of a here, we're just going to substitute to our x. That's why we have here p of a. Likewise, if we have the limit of p of x all over q of x, our numerator and denominator, as x approaches a, that is equal to, again, we're going to treat as a function, just substitute our a to x. So we have p of a all over q of a. Wherein, q of a must not be equal to zero. Why? Because if q of a, our denominator is equal to zero, that will give us undefined. Now to apply this limit of polynomial function, and the previous theorems, let's have our example number one. So the limit of x squared minus 3x plus 5 as x approaches 3. According to the limit of polynomial function, we're just going to substitute our a. a, this is our a, which is 3. So we have Three, change x to the a, so that is 3. 3 squared minus 3 times x is 3 plus 5. Now we have 3 squared, that is 9, minus 3 times 3, that is 9 plus 5. Now we have 9 minus 9, that is 0, plus 5, that will give us 5. So this is now the value of our limit. Okay. Let us apply the previous theorems that we discussed to find the limit of x squared minus 3x plus 5 as x approaches 3. In our theorem, we're going to use the sum or difference. Sum or difference rule, so that is equal to the limit of x squared as x approaches 3 minus the limit of 3x as x approaches 3 plus the limit of 5 as x approaches 3. Okay, that is applying our sum or difference rule. We're going to check if we will get the same value. Now, applying the power rule, this is equal to limit of x as x approaches 3 raised to 2 minus, we're going to apply the Another theorem, constant multiple rule, so we have 3 times the limit of x as x approaches 3. Plus, our theorem 1, we have a constant, then the value is the constant. Now, evaluate limit of x as x approaches 3, so theorem 2. So our value here is 3, don't forget our exponent squared, minus 3 times limit of x as x approaches 3. So theorem 2 again, that is equal to 3 plus 5. So 3 squared 
that is 9 minus 9 plus 5. So 9 minus 9, that is 0, plus 5, that is positive. So they are the same. So that is the application of the limit of polynomial functions and the previous theorems. Another example. Now our second example. Limit of x over x minus 4 as x approaches negative 2. So again, let us first apply the limit of polynomial function. Then to check our answer, let's apply the previous theorems. Quotient rule, that is limit of x as x approaches negative 2 over limit of x minus 4 as x approaches negative 2. Okay, this is the previous theorems that we discussed. So let's start with them. Quotient rule. Now we have limit of x as x approaches negative 2, that is negative 2 by theorem number 2. All over limit of x minus 4. So let us use first the sum or difference rule, that is limit of x as x approaches negative 2 minus limit of 4 as x approaches negative 2. Now we have negative 2 all over limit of x as x approaches negative 2, that is negative 2, minus applying theorem number 1, we have a constant here, so that is equal to 4. Now we have negative 2 all over negative 6, so Negative divided by negative, that is positive. 2 over 6 is 1 third. Now let us, let us apply the limit of polynomial function. So we have, just treat this as a function, then evaluate. So we have, we're going to check if we will get the same answer. Change x to our a, which is negative 2, all over x, so negative 2 minus 4, that is equal to negative 2 over negative 2 minus 4, that is negative 6. Now we have to simplify 1 third. So we will come up with the same answer. Whether we were going to apply the limit of polynomial function and our theorems. Again, this applies if we only have polynomials. Once again, thank you for watching Senior Pablo Team.